Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second Vlogmas video of the series. <coughs> Today's video I'm going to be sharing some cute wee like Christmassy festive activities that you can do. So it's basically just like things to do around like the Christmas time. You can either do them with your like boyfriend, girlfriend or like a group of friends it could also work with because they're quite like open like it doesn't really need to be like or like that's only like you and your boyfriend can go and do that or like only a group of friends, it's not romantic like that. Um, I feel like everything that's on the list that I'm about to share with you um, can be done with like absolutely anyone. So there is some like more like family ones as well so it really is a nice variety of options and to be honest never had a boyfriend and um, I've managed to do all of these so if you do have a boyfriend you can still do them. And I'm just saying you don't need a boyfriend at Christmas time to like go and like do all the Christmassy things with. I know that I'll be going with my best friends so it doesn't matter who you go at the end of the day as long as you're having fun and enjoying yourself it's all that matters. So before the video begins make sure you're subscribed to my channel for new vlogmas videos every Thursday and Sunday throughout the full month of December and if you do like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's just get into it. Can we just take a wee second to like appreciate how cute this mug is? Like this is the most amazing Christmas mug ever. Like that is Santa right there is a handle. Like what the hell? You will not get a more Christmassy mug than this. Um, I think I got it out of the range like years ago now. I remember I went back like the next year to try and get more and they had none. And I was so sad. But um, this one is my favourite mug ever and just drinking a nice wee tea because up in my bedroom is so cold. Like the weather recently, freezing cold. It was actually snowing a wee bit today as well, so that's um, fun. Christmas is coming. So today I'm going to be sharing 20 things to do at Christmas time with anyone that you choose to do these activities with. So the first thing that I've wrote down is go to the Christmas markets. I love going to the Christmas markets. I feel like I don't do it enough. Like I don't really get like into Christmas markets that much. Obviously, because like COVID and all that. Like I feel like it has been so long since I've actually like went into Glasgow and like just went around and you know to all the wee stalls and they're just like so fun and like festive. I feel like when it's not quite Christmas yet, but you go to a Christmas market, it really gets you in the mood for Christmas. And I feel like you don't really need to spend a lot of money as well. It doesn't cost anything to go and look around. Just don't buy anything because I do feel like things are a wee bit overpriced. You know each to their own if you want to go and like try the different foods that are there or like just have a look around and not spend any of your money then you can do that also. I feel like it is like a quite a cute wee day out to go like out with your boyfriend or like your friends. So like, obviously due to like Covid and all that last year the Christmas markets were cancelled but this year they are back and I haven't been yet but I really need to go. I just feel like that's when you know that it's Christmas time when you go like into Glasgow or wherever and the Christmas markets are up and you're just like it is finally Christmas, you're allowed to talk about Christmas, it's allowed to be all things Christmassy. I just feel like when you go to the Christmas markets it's like just so festive, you get such like a warm feeling, you're just like eating like churros and like you know you're just having the best time because like Christmas time and Christmas time is always the best time but when you go to the Christmas markets it's honestly, I just feel like the feeling of just like walking around like all of these stalls and stuff and seeing all the Christmassy stuff and eating food and just getting fat and eating whatever you want because you can because it's Christmas time you know what I mean. Have fun, get festive, drink some hot chocolates. I can't wait to go, I need to go, I need to go. I, I know when me and Christian go down to Liverpool we're going to definitely check out the Christmas markets and I can't wait for them. Yeah that is the first thing that you can do at Christmas time. The second activity is to go ice skating. I feel like I've only been ice skating a few times in my life but it's really difficult, like honestly, I thought like this would be easy, I can do anything. But like I just I feel like I can't like move anywhere when I go ice skating. I try to move my feet and all that and um it's just not happening. I just feel like it is like a such a laugh as well, like don't take it serious. If you're out with a group of pals, like that's gonna be such a good day. It's also quite a cute wee like date night as well, like to go ice skating. I just I feel like ice skating is a fun day out as well. I mean I know I don't think the one at George Square this year is like open again. I don't think like, all of that like bit of like Glasgow is opened with like the Christmas markets. I could be wrong but I feel like it's not. I feel like they aren't on this year like at George Square. I feel like that's still not happening. Which is really sad because like George Square like ice skating around that you bit 
is a fun thing to do at Christmas also. So if it is open, I would recommend going there to George Square. The next thing is to go on cute wee coffee dates. Like, I think this is like, so like easy and like doesn't really need a lot of planning and doesn't cost a lot of money. All you can do is like get like you and your group of friends and like go to like Costa, Starbucks, any coffee shop and just sit and like have like a wee festive drink. I feel like this could also be like a good time to like exchange your gifts if you're doing like Secret Santa with your friends. Arrange to meet up at like a coffee shop and um, you know like exchange your gifts in there. I feel like that'd be quite cute and like festive. Or like obviously if you don't want to like exchange gifts it could just be like a nice wee way to like catch up with like an old friend or like just have a cute wee day out with your friends or boyfriends, whatever. Just like go and like, meet up at a coffee shop or like have like, a nice wee festive hot chocolate or like any other, I can't really think of like, another like festive hot drink that you can get from like Starbucks other than hot chocolate. Which then kind of takes me on to like the next thing to do is to try different hot chocolates. I did see somebody on TikTok doing this um, where they like made their own um, hot chocolates like from like different countries so she like look up how like maybe like Germany makes hot chocolates and it's like different places around the world like how they make their hot chocolates and just try and see what ones are the best and um, if you don't want to make the hot chocolates yourself you could like just go to Starbucks and try like all other hot chocolates if they've got like chocolate orange hot chocolate just normal hot chocolate you know you know what I mean like just try different ones see what ones are the best I feel like that would be quite a fun thing to do as well and get like a different kind of date night thing you know but I have seen that girl come up onto my For You page quite a few times and she's like got different hot chocolates and it does actually look quite good there was this one that she tried and it was like actually you had to eat it with a spoon because like it was that thick and like that isn't even hot chocolate but like you know look it up look up how different places over the world make their hot chocolates and give them a go another thing that you can do could go to like a drive-in movies and go see a christmas movie that would be so fun i've actually got that planned later on in december i'm actually going with my mum and we're going to go and see die hard i was one of the people who were like die hard is not a christmas movie and then I watched it and I'm like, it's, I still don't think it's a Christmas movie, but it is a good movie and I just feel like, yeah, it's Christmas Eve in the movie, so you should maybe watch it around Christmas time. So we're going to go see that. I can't wait. You could go with like your family or like a group of friends, but I do feel like, would you want to sit in the back of the car while you watch the movie? I don't know. I don't think I would want to do that. So I just always make sure that I'm the driver when I go to the driver movie to guarantee that I'm sitting in the front and I get the best view. So um, maybe that would be something, if you don't mind sitting in the back of the car to see the movie, then do it as a group. Um, if not, you know, just go with your boyfriend or like one of your friends. People think like the drive-in movies are like overpriced and all that, but I'm just like, I feel like it's like part of like the Christmas experience that you need to go. Ob then obviously the same when I went at Halloween as well, I went to a drive-in movie just for the experience of going. And I know I went like the year before, but you just have to go. Do you need to go to a drive-in movie? I feel like that is a must thing now. And it's a much bigger thing now. I feel like it wasn't that like... I didn't really know anybody that did it until like a few years ago and then I feel like everyone started to do it now. So I do feel like a Christmas drive-in movie is a must at Christmas time. But saying that, if you don't want to go and spend all the money on sitting in your car to watch a movie that you could probably get for free on Netflix or like you probably have on DVD. Does people also watch DVDs by the way? Because I have like a full cupboard filled with Christmas DVDs and it's probably the only time I'd watch a DVD but... I just feel like you can get everything on like Prime or like Netflix or that so, but you can um, just make your own wee movie night in your house but yeah so obviously if you can get it on Netflix and that just make your own wee movie night. Last year I made a cute wee movie night for my mum and my sisters and it was actually the best thing ever. I, actually, I think I might have spent a wee bit too much money. I would have probably been cheaper just to go to drive and movie but me being so extra I thought I'm going to make a cute wee Christmas movie night in for me, my sisters and my mum and we just sat and we had like a wee cheese board. I just feel like cheese boards are so Christmassy and I feel like it's the only time of the year where you would really eat a cheese board would be Christmas. I can't really think of a time during the rest of the year where I'd eat a cheese board, but cheese board was out. I had like nice wee Christmas snacks, like wee cupcakes and like chocolate covered strawberries with like Santa Clauses on them. Just like wee Christmassy treats and then we also had like some Bucks Fizz I feel like that's quite a Christmassy drink. It, yeah, and we just sat and we watched some Christmas movies and it was a really fun night in. So I feel like that is definitely a cute wee date night. If you don't want to go out and spend a lot of money, you and your group of friends like go and just 
matching pyjamas. You don't obviously have to go that extreme. You can genuinely just grab a wee blankie and sit on your couch and watch a movie. But I just think the extra wee touches, you know, like that would be really cute. I think another good idea as well as like the Christmas movie night and with your friends could be to have like a cocktails night. I know in summer me and my friends like had like a wee cocktail night and then we all each brought our own cocktail that we had made. So like one person could have like sex on the beach, one, another person could have like a porn star martini. So like each person would like go and like create their own cocktail and then like make up a name for it and, and it'd be like quite a fun wee night in. So I feel like you could do that at Christmas time as well and just try and make it a wee bit more Christmassy. You could do like mulled wine or like a Bucks Fizz candy drink, even eggnog or you could just like follow a recipe and make your own like eggnog which then could be another um, idea of like making different eggnogs or trying different eggnogs and see what one's best that kind of similar to like the hot chocolate thing. I don't think I've ever tried eggnog or was that that thing my dad made me try last year? My dad made me try something really strange last year it was like yellow and it's like really thick and I want to say it was eggnog but I'm not sure. Whatever it was it was thinking so I wouldn't really recommend eggnog but maybe that was a bad one. I don't even know if it was eggnog that I tried. But I feel like that would be like a really fun like girls night in. You can maybe like then take that into like the cocktails night and plus the movie night just like a wee cute wee festive night in with the girls. I feel like another cute wee like date night um, idea could be to like decorate your own gingerbread houses or like just have like, your group of friends and like have like a gingerbread decorating contest so like everyone gets their own gingerbread house and decorates it and then you can decide who has made the best gingerbread house. I feel like that'd be quite a fun night as well, quite creative, you know, quite different if you like just like go out and spend the money, go and just buy a gingerbread house and then just sit and decorate it and have a laugh, put Christmas songs on with your friends and just sing and decorate. So that, that's quite a fun idea. And um, this next one obviously depends if you know, it's snowing outside. You could go sledging, that would be so I've not been sledging on so long and like it doesn't matter how old you are. Like, so whenever the snow is coming down and it's all snowy, grab your sledge and get up the hill and go sledging because it's so much fun. Like but yeah, I've just not been in so long. But sledging is a fun thing to do. Um, you could also build a snowman if it's snowing because they are so much fun. When we were younger, me and my sister actually built an igloo, which was like Actually, I'm taking credit for it, but I feel like Christian did most of the work. We built our own igloo out the back, and it was like... I want to say it was like this really, really big igloo, but it was probably tiny. And I feel like the both of us probably wouldn't have even have fitted into it. But that was quite a fun five-day activity, because it took us forever. Yeah, if it's snowing, just go out in the snow. Even just go like a nice wee, like, wintery walk. Snow has fallen down. Like, that is just... Oh! When you're all like wrapped up cosy and you're like going outside and it's snowing, that is like, I love it. It is like the best feeling ever. I love going out in the snow. So I really hope it snows this year because I feel like, I feel like the last few Christmases it's not been as snowy. But then going into like the new year or like the start of January this year was like so snowy for us. Why could it not have been like this at Christmas time? Like why, why could it not have been like that on Christmas day? Like I wake up on Christmas day and just look out the window and it has been like snowing. That is like the best feeling ever. So yeah, if it's snowing, just get out your house, build a snowman, go sledge and build an igloo or just go on a nice wee like wintery walks and then um, it's fun. You could also do some like Christmas baking. I could just say bacon there instead of baking. I don't mean go and like just fry some bacon. I mean Christmas baking, bake some Christmas cakes, Christmas cookies, um, just like any wee holiday treats that you could think of. I, I've seen like the like chocolate slab things where you make like a bar of chocolate and then like smooth it out and decorate it like an wee snowman or like just put some candy cane things on it and then you break it off and it's like big chunks of chocolate. Do you know what I mean? You do know what I mean tell me you've seen that and um, that probably didn't make any sense but I know what I was talking about so it's all good. Me and my mum one Christmas like sat and we made like Christmas cakes and stuff like that and we made made me like chocolate um, truffles which are like the best thing ever and I associate them with Christmas now. We also made like weird like Santa hats out of strawberries and banana which were a total fail but like they were quite cute. One year I also made like wee reindeer cupcakes so I guess I made a cupcake and then put some like brown frosting kind of thing on it. Then I got pretzels and that was like the, the antlers and like a wee red nose for Rudolph and yeah it was really fun. Very creative for me. I probably stole the idea off somebody else 
but um, that was quite fun so basically what you could also do you could make these and then like put, maybe put them into like a wee box and then um, give them you know, like your friends or family so like that'd be like a nice wee Christmas treat for them so like just maybe make like the cookies and the cakes put them in a wee box put a wee ribbon around them and go and deliver them to your friends and just a wee surprise for them a really nice thing to do so then like another thing you could do is just like giving back so like I said, like obviously you're going to go to your friend's house and deliver like a wee nice treat for them. Like that is a nice thing to do. You could also do like some charity work at Christmas, and um, just like making some donations. And there's a lot of like toy appeal donations, like shoebox appeal, and loads and loads and loads of different like charity events. And just kind of give back a wee bit. You know, like it's quite a hard time of year for some people. So you can make your own like salt dough Christmas decorations. Me and my sister did this one year, and it was actually like that just turned out really nice so like all you need is like all-purpose flour salt and like water you just mix it all together to make a dough obviously and then i'm sure you just like kind of like roll it out and you just start kind of like making your own wee ornaments decorations for your christmas tree so like one of the ones that i done was like kind of like a wee circle and i just got my dog's paw and then just kind of pressed that into the salt dough and then you just had her wee paw like there it was really cute so then you just kind of make your own wee designs make sure if you're doing it for your christmas tree you leave like a wee hole at the top of it so that you can then put like some string around it so you could like use like cookie cutters and get some like wee gingerbread man shaped cookie cutters or like christmas tree cookie cutters so once you've got all your design and patterns ready you just like put it in your oven for like an hour um, and then wait for them to cool down and you can just decorate them and paint them and you know put your wee bit of string on it put it on your Christmas tree and you've got some really cute wee DIY Christmas decorations and like I said that is a cute wee fun activity to do you can do it with like your family like wee kids or your boyfriend or your friends that is quite a fun thing to do quite creative again and just like a wee bit different for your Christmas activities you could also go to a pantomime I I actually don't have any book this year which I'm quite sad about. I think they start like kind of like end of November right through to like the start of January so like that is definitely something that you could do take the kids along to. Who does not want to be sitting there like oh no you didn't he's behind you. You know that is a fun day. This next thing is a bit strange and like very specific. It is like a activity thing that I found online which happens in Glasgow. And it's a silent disco right but basically what you do is you get your headphones and you walk around Glasgow like just singing and dancing you know cutting some shapes down Buchanan Street. It starts up at Absurd Bird. I don't know where that is. And then you kind of just like do like a wee walk around Glasgow and you've got your headphones and you're singing, dancing. So that does sound really fun and like something I would definitely do. And then another thing that I did see was if you pre-order your food from Absurd Bird you get like 20% off if you tell them that you're going to do the silent disco. So like there's a wee um, cool thing that I found on the internet. So like that's quite cool if you want to go and sing and dance down Buchanan Street and then go for some dinner. Pre-book it and get 20% off your foods. Thank me later, like thanks for finding that information. Sounds like a fun day out. Just imagine like you and your friends singing Fairy Tale in New York going down Sucky Hall Street and just like having the time of your life singing the songs, dancing around. That actually sounds so much fun. Actually, I might try and convince my friends to do that. Like, that sounds so much fun. You could also go like, some Christmas shopping. This is obviously something that people like to do on their own because they don't want, like, people to see, um, like, the gifts that they're buying people. But, you know, like, just go with somebody and then you can kind of go and do your own thing, meet back. At the end of the day, this is definitely something you can do on your own. I really like going shopping on my own and I never understood that when I, when I was younger because see when I used to go shopping with, like, my mum, she would be like, could you like just leave me alone for five minutes so I can go and walk around the shop by myself? So I'd just be like, mum, look at this, mum, mum. I'd actually be such a roast. So now I understand, not like I've got like a wee kid following me around the shop anyway to know that that's annoying, but I just really enjoy going shopping by myself and I just feel like nobody can judge anything that you're like picking up because see if I go into like a shop and I'm looking at clothes that I want to try on and I don't want people to be like that is ugly. I mean obviously I like people's opinion but I don't really listen to their opinion too much and if I like it then I'll just buy it anyway so it doesn't really matter what you say. But yeah you could go, that was kind of like you could go Christmas shopping for presents or you could go Christmas shopping for yourself get some like nice wee Christmas outfits that is something fun to do I love shopping so yeah definitely be going Christmas shopping I have a nice wee date night thing to do as well I don't really know if like 
I, I, I'm saying this is cute, right? I don't know if it's just, I don't know if it's just like a wee bit weird and like if people actually do this, but like to go and like watch a Christmas light turn on display, I don't know where you would go and see that, but that does sound quite fun. It just like set, I don't, does it sound fun really? You know, like to go and just stand in the freezing cold and wait for somebody to turn on a set of lights. It could be quite cute if you want it to be cute. It's an idea, you could, you could do that if you want, nobody's going to judge you, obviously people do do that I think. It could be a thing, I, f I, I might have been making that up but a Christmas turn on display, obviously if you don't want to do that you could just like jump in your car and go somewhere that you know has got like really pretty Christmas decorations and just like drive around like a few houses and just like go and look at the cute Christmas decorations because I love it when I'm like driving somewhere and people have got their houses actually done up so pretty. That that could be quite a fun wee chilled night you know it doesn't really cost any money. You could also so roast some marshmallows and make some like s'mores that'd be quite fun like I don't know how you make a s'more I don't think I've ever made s'mores before I think you can do this at like Christmas markets I think so that'd be quite fun to go and just like roast some marshmallows and the last thing on the list is Elfin Grove um, again this is quite a specific thing I've never been I've heard like mixed like opinions on this that say it is quite like childish and like the sense where it is more for kids but like I've known people to go with like your, their boyfriends or that and they said it was quite good so I have, look it up see what it's all about you can probably roast some marshmallows there to be honest with you I think you don't need to buy tickets for that so it might be a bit too late in the year you might not get your tickets right now I would definitely go me and my friends we don't have any kids and we would go and we'd, I know that we'd have a good time anyway you know it's just it's really I don't think like it's really just how you look at it like it could be a bit childish but like I feel like not Christmas is it? I wouldn't say like Christmas is more for children, but like I would still kind of pretend I was a child at Christmas. You know what I mean? So like I just feel like it is Christmas time. It's meant to be like a funny, magical time. You know, like Santa Claus is coming to your house on Christmas Eve. Who cares if you're like twenty four or you're four years old? Like it's still like Santa Claus is coming to your house on Christmas Eve. So I think it's just more like the way that you you can see like oh I'm too old for that, but I think no. Like it's magical. What I think I'm trying to say is you don't get to like a certain age in life where like Christmas just like is for kids. You know like Christmas is for everybody. I love Christmas so much and I feel like you shouldn't just be like oh I'm like too old for that or like that's like too childish because I'm just like yes I go to my bed every year at Christmas Eve and um, my mum will read me the night before Christmas because I'm just like do you know what like Every year since I was like born, my mum has read me the night before Christmas before I go to bed. I can read by myself, but my mum will still read me the night before Christmas. If you want to think you're too old for Christmas, then you're the one that needs to have serious word with yourself because Christmas is too fun and magical for you to be like, nah, I'm not doing it. Um, yeah, so that got you a bit like... I wasn't lecturing people there. If you obviously don't want to believe in Santa, then you can totally do that. But I think um, you're a fool to not believe in Santa because he is real and he does come to my house on Christmas Eve. So guys, that is 20 things to do at Christmas time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it is getting you more excited for Christmas. I hope it gives you some really good ideas for Christmas. So I hope you take away from this video some great ideas and I hope you go and do them and have a really nice Christmas and just like do lots of Christmas activities this year because I feel like we deserve it. Last year we couldn't really do a lot. So you know, this year go out and go to the Christmas markets because there's talk of another lockdown but we're not going to talk about that because it's not going to happen, right? We are going to have a really festive Christmas this year and Covid is not going to ruin it. If you did like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you leave any video suggestions below and also just make sure you're subscribed to my channel also like I said at the start for new videos every Thursday and Sunday and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>